Hey, Murdoch. Hello, Automatic. Hello, Comic Con. <clears throat> Did I hear that Arby's has a burger now? Did they not before? I've literally only had Arby's once, ever. It's because there's not one nearby. So, I don't... I didn't know that they never had burgers before. I know they did, like, roast beef. But I didn't know they never had burgers before. We'll investigate They've had roast beef and chicken and Rubens and stuff, but never burgers. Hmm. Interesting. As I said, I, I never knew because I've only ever had Arby's once. Oh jeez, I just got retweeted by stream going live. Uh oh. <laughs> Debate watch, nah. <laughs> First and foremost, I'm not particularly fond of um Well, first and foremost, I wouldn't even know what to debate watch on. Second of all, I don't like the whole concept of like live streamed debates. <clears throat> because they're not honest. Livestream debates, uh, livestream debates have this tendency to not be for, like, intellectual discussion or for, like, an actual productive discussion to be had, right? They're, they're not made to, to, you know, they're, they're not made with any sort of wanting to talk. They're made to want to, uh, they're made with the intent to make a spectacle out of someone. <clears throat> So I have no reason to want to get into any, like, online, like, live stream kind of debates kind of thing. So. They're not, they're not for any, like, actual argumentation. I need to show the people who already agree with me how much I can own people I don't like. Exactly. It, it's there to, it's there to, it, <clears throat> It is there to make a circus, to make a spectacle. It is not there to have any sort of discussion. But also, just in general, I'm, I, I don't know what I would talk with him about. Also, also, I don't have any reason to want to debate him. Hey, girly wolf up. 
Like, I just, I don't... <laughs> like, it's, it's just, I, I don't think debating someone just on the basis of, like, just to do it is not very productive either, to be honest. <clears throat> I think I put out a tweet about that, actually, when it comes to light stream debates. Hello, oh, Calico Mittens. Welcome to the chat. I hope you enjoy your stay. <clears throat> but yeah, uh... <laughs> right, I found it. Um... Yeah, no. Telling me to debate anyone on, on stream after I put out a tweet that was like, a take. Most live stream debates, like I'd go out of my way to say 99% of them, aren't good places for civil discourse and productive conversation. They seem to 9 times out of 10 be predominantly made to be a spectacle of the lolcal of the minute for a few hours. Which, I guess if that's what you're into, that's fine. I have my strong personal disagreements, but whatever, you do you. But be honest, do you actually want to talk, or do you just want to yell at someone calling them stupid for 3 hours? Because I see the latter way too often. So, there you go. That's like your first thing to, ta to tell me when you come into the chat, and you're sadly mistaken on who you're talking to. I'm also, uh, if I can also go on a little bit of a, of a little side tangent. Um... Just as just as a side tangent, debates are not won by how how much you get the last word or how much you are like correct in a in, in a conversation. It's how well you actually argue your points. And fucking everyone that says that they've won a debate because the other person walked out on them, uh, didn't actually win a debate. You're arguing like shit. It, you're arguing incredibly unfair, and you've actually probably lost a lot of a lot more than you actually won. But again, nobody wants to take that into account either, as they want to just think that they've owned whatever side that they disagree with. <clears throat> uh, an actual an actual debate is won by like who argued their side better, and even then, that's like that kind of win that these people are expecting. Thoughts on Dorby's making decisions? I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Anyway. Ring is a similar tune to the people who act like they totally owned a random Twitter user by getting themselves blocked. Exactly. <clears throat> Although Twitter is not a good place for civil discussion either. Like, nuance is completely revoked because you can't be nuanced in, the hunt in like 288 characters. Too many people focus too much on winning the discussion instead of making a decent point. Exactly. Which is why I wouldn't debate someone like, I don't know. Neko Koda, as an example. Or or anyone from that that side. Just as an example. Cause I know she's do she's been doing like live stream debates and stuff like that. <clears throat> That's all. Just as an example. I need to clarify that. My Gen Z's attention span is too short for nuance, exactly. Debate me bros, uh, debate me bros in a nutshell, yeah. It's very, like, let me in, buddy. Just, I, I think that's, that's probably the best way to put it. Or the best way I've ever heard it put it. Because, um, yeah, Quinn Curio still has the best fucking video on critique. <laughs> that's, that's, that's just period. But, like, it's, it's very, like, 
It's it's very dishonest. Ah. I had two liter diet uh, diet coke with me today. I also have like a can of Pringles over here. Might ch uh, might crunch on those throughout the stream, possibly. Hey, Falcon. I don't really pay attention to a lot of those, a lot of that side of the commentary sphere. I kind of just, I kind of focus on SCC stuff. Art CC, which was like our closest neighbors, have kind of like burned themselves. They kind of burned their own house down. I don't know who left the toaster oven on, but like. Signature Doodle Tones 2 liter bottle of Coke. Actually, it's typically by a Pepsi, but the Family Dollar has been very sparse on Diet Pepsi. Who's the closest neighbor now? Um... I don't know. Probably like the Harley- like the Harley TBS's and the... The tipsters, I guess. Like those kind of... Commentators. I would- I would guess. Cause like, I know Harley- Harley and I are chill, and I know Tipster follows me on like Twitter and stuff like that. But... Like, they were kind of the neighbor beside the art community, I noticed. So, probably. Getting rusty my internet geography? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> but yeah, the art CC has kind of, like, set their house on fire, man. I don't... I don't know what to do with them. The ranting community is on our other side, but... I never really got to like most of the art CC. The slideshow CC is the only one I'm capable of tolerating. And we're just kind of nerds. That's really all we are. We we're the um actuallys of the of the internet. <laughs> we we just kind of we just kind of debate like stupid like to like inconsequential benign topics, and it's fun. It's like critique can be fun. And I feel like a lot of the other commentators, uh, a lot of the other commentator sphere has forgotten that. Critique can be fun. It doesn't have to be super fucking serious 100% of the time. <clears throat> I literally just got in and it was set their house on fire. What the hell happened? Oh, I was just talking about the Arc CC. I'd argue the SCC is the most enjoyable of the bunch to interact with. I mean, I would hope so. <clears throat> we got rid of a lot of our toxic, uh... A lot of our, uh, our toxic gremlins, I guess you could say. Our... The, the, the toxic monsters in our, in our group. I'm okay with that. I'm glad that the co the the slideshow commentary community kind of acts as if like the, uh, as this like little village, you know. The art CC's house is on fire. When was it not? Never. But it's more so on fire than it's ever been. Which kind of CC member would you say I am? But didn't you want to associate with the SCC? Wasn't that like one of your reasons for joining the alt? I remember, like. Dylan telling me that at one point. You're kind of, you're whatever CC member you want to be. TBH. It's like whoever you associate with, whoever you vibe with, whoever you gel with. The SCC is the type of community to have a soundtrack composed by Toby Fox. <laughs> I mean, we do. Well, I remember 2016, uh, Megalovania was fucking everywhere. <laughs> Nowadays, we just kind of have our soundtracks comprised of, uh, of, I think, fighting games, specifically, like, or, or maybe, 
Uh, so I guess it's a little hard to tell like where where most of our soundtrack comes from because it used to be like Ace Attorney and Danganronpa, and then like the time before that it was like Undertale. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where we're at now with with our soundtracks. The SCC is mostly comfort noise that you put on while you're doing stuff. The Art CC is just fire that you get to watch for it to turn out, yeah. Put on the gorilla's brain rot for the past two years, fair enough. <laughs> Have some tremendous nostalgia for 2016. I do not agree with that. 2016 was awful. My brain is telling me the SCC won't let me be. They tried to shut me down on MTV, but it feels so empty without me. Remember the skeptic community? Oh, well, those are still around. As few and far between as they are, they're still around. Small commentary community is a different type of breed. Yeah. Well, us slideshow commentators are... <laughs> we were we were around probably the longest. TBH. Nobody knows that. I just realized, are we the fucking Mesopotamians, uh, Mesopotamians of, of YouTube? We've just been here for a while and nobody knows who the fuck we are. <laughs> First truly cut ties with the original SCC when in isolation, I honestly felt lost without you guys. I mean, it's again, it's whatever commentary community you associate with. <clears throat> Meso what? Exactly. Mesopotamians. They were like one of their, I th want to say earliest civilizations, and fucking they fell into obscurity. Uh, I think to the point where they're, I believe, extinct now? That's why I'm saying though, are, are we the Mesopotamians of, of, of YouTube? Make a parody of SCC history to the beat of Crank Dead Soldier <laughs> I actually do plan on making a uh, an SCC like documentary because I feel like there's a lot of history that not very many people know about. And I have access to a lot of like early commentators. Like uh, Loudon is like one of the one of our longest ongoing commentators. I'm in a chat with Roshutsu. Um, I could talk to Realm at any given point. So we got we got a. I've got I've got options. I've got people I can talk to about SCC history. I'd be I'm want to make something like that. Watch an SCP documentary. SCP is, would be cool, but no, I'm, I'm SCC, not SCP. I don't know if you misheard me or not. But yeah, I I, I want to make an SCC documentary. I have like a whole thing. Might have told you this already, but I wanted to make a mockumentary of the TCP history for a while. I mean, not really much history on the, the Cloud Palace. Perhaps Hobbs could get you in contact with Mr. Sir Raven. That would be cool. I've Mr. Sir Raven was the only bot member that I never talked to by the time that I had joined. I mean, obviously, there's people like Lunasoft and, and Cody Briscoe that I also never talked to, but when I had joined Bop and, and onwards, the only the only member I never met was, was Mr. Sir Raven. <clears throat> so... There's also Ricky Ray as well. I don't really have much contact with Ricky though. I think he's in. I mean, he might be. Yeah, I mean, we're both in the Bob chat together. Bob chat still exists, I think. I'm always unsure about that one. Give us a lesson on Mesopotamia lore. I'm actually not 100% certain on it. Uh, I just know that they were uh, one of the earliest civilizations. And then they fell into obscurity, and nobody really knows who the fuck they are. Which is where the comparison begins and ends with, with us, the SCC. Because, like, 
the the SCC was a community like way back in like 2005 or six, uh, one of the earliest communities that like established itself on YouTube. But nobody knows who the fuck we are. Good lord, the CC nostalgia just hit, yeah, well. <clears throat> the SEC is more successful than Mesopotamia because it's still around. I guess, yeah. Had a funny idea of doing commentary videos with text to speech. I mean, there's been a few members of the, the commentary community that do text to speech. One of them is in the fucking chat right now. <laughs> like, Auto Magic is right there. Um, but there's also, like, Pink Robot. Uh, Starmic existed. I don't know if he still does, but Starmic was a commentator at one point. Um, there was also, like, Crystal Andrews. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. There's, like, a whole, like, whole thing you could do with that. It's not unheard of, is what I'm trying to say. Hey, Phineas. <laughs> Text to speech must be hard with the limits of the voices. I mean, you'd have to ask Otto or Pink. I think those are like the two most active members. How have I been? Um, I played the fifth. I'm not going to turn this into another fucking therapy session. Put it that way. That was last night's stream. Hey Twitter, can you like yeah. not spoil the Owl House for me? Thanks. Thank you for the subscription to Phineas. Yeah. It's like, can, hey, maybe Twitter, can you not spoil the Owl House for me? I'm so glad I don't know the context behind those, those images, but... Can you, like, not spoil the Owl House for me? That would be amazing. Like, I really want to watch that. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing slideshow commentaries before, but not sure if I want to because I don't know how it'll class with my other types of videos you want to do. Work you want to do. Fair enough. It's so common that I remember how many bandwagons exist in 2010 uh, CC. Um, <clears throat> bandwagons nowadays are... Not as frequent as people might think they are. Like, we still we still get told that we have a bandwagon problem, but... Material is a little sparse. So... Prolific slideshow commentator. Pretty iconic. <laughs> God. And then you were the subject of another uh, commentator for like two videos. And they wound up becoming very big. I'm still not over it. I think you are, but I... I, I think you... I, I feel like you might be a little bit more over it than I am at this point. <laughs> hey, Master Shadow. 
compared to ba uh, back the USCC folks don't have that many wagons. Yeah, not really. Like, there are individual videos that we like to jump on, but that's just because, as I said, good material is sparse nowadays. But there's not, like, too many, like, people that we look at as, like, bandwagons. I have a really fascinating origin story that I'm a part of. I mean, I'd imagine. What are we talking about today? Uh, I guess just commentary. Because we kind of started with, like, live stream debates, and now we're kind of talking about, like, just slideshow commentary and commentary, like, in general. I brought up how uh, Phineas was, like, the earliest target of, um, what was, like, the earliest target of Turkey Tom. I think so, at least. Phineas was either the earliest target or, like, the second earliest. I don't remember when he did... I don't remember when Tom did his, uh, Kablam Bandicoot video. <clears throat> I'm still not over the fucking Phineas video, though. That was garbage. You introduced him to Kablam? Yeah. I mean, point is, I'm still not over it. No, like, d did not apologize, just kinda acted like none of that ever happened. Blech. Also, still not a fan of how fucking Tom just casually reintroduced Metacurse fanbase to me in, like, what, 2018 or so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I never truly liked Turkey Tom's content, TVH. Didn't Sir Kayla make fun of him in the art community? Did it? I don't know, maybe. I think there has been a total of one video of Tom's that I liked, and that's just because- and, and that's the one that's currently on my best list. One video that I, like, genuinely enjoyed, and that was his video, uh, this year on John Swan. Because uh, I think John Swan had like a stupid take about how the commentary community was dying, and Tom made a pretty good report to that. I actually really liked that video. Hey Toro, long time no see. <clears throat> I'm friends with some commentators. Har Harley's like a good friend of mine at this point. Yeah, Harley's chill. Harley Harley is a very chill individual to talk to. Uh, obviously, friends with like. It's like, obviously, if you're friends with Harley, there's a high chance you're friends with, like, Peaches and, uh, Mally as well. <laughs> Those three are fucking peas in a pod. Frankly. And then if you're friends with Mally, there's a good chance you're friends with, like, Lumi and Skritus. Remember Tom saying that harassment is protected on the First Amendment? Yeah. I've I've talked about my opinions of Tom in the past before, but ah, uh, he's the result of what happens when a bully gets like too much power. TBA. John Swan is yet another person that fell. Yeah, I, I heard something about that. I don't. I didn't really get too invested in, like, what might have happened with him, though. Wasn't Professor Magewood an early commentator? Probably. I'm actually not too sure. Professor Magewood is just someone that I've kind of always known existed. I don't know too much about Magewood myself. Mally is a wild card? Yeah, I wish she would fucking join these streams. I've made her a small and everything, and she just fucking refuses her Aussie ass, and she's probably awake right now. No, she's not. Actually, she's not online. <laughs> I'm just sitting here screaming into the abyss at this point. Magewood inspired Ponder? Really? Interesting. Mally's cool as heck. Yeah, it's just impossible to talk to her, though, because she's never on. 
I made her a small for these chats. She can join at any time. Ellie should join the Cloud Palace. She's kind of a different type of commentator, but... I mean, if she wanted to, I don't think anyone would be too against that. If you'd ever like, I'd love to come on the stream at some point. I have a specific chat for that. Uh, for, for these streams. She's on the other side of the world. Oh well, yeah, but it's like... Morning there. I think. But yeah, my my chat has like 15... No. No, it has a lot more than 15. What am I talking about? It has 18 people in it. So uh, it's got Brooke. Uh, Avi. Um, Cabbage and Demon Savior. So some people from the Cabbage patch. It's 11.52 a.m. Exactly. It's like morning, afternoon-ish. How many smalls have you made? Alright. Day for everyone in the Cloud Palace. I've only made smalls for people in my chat. The magical cardboard box, which is, is my chat. Yeah, Cabbage, you have a small. You can get on this stream. You remember, like, I fucking... I, I made your small. <laughs> you and Reed both. You both have a small. Also, hello, Cabbage. But yeah, I have some friends from the Cabbage Patch in here. I have uh, a friend from the Goon Gang. Uh, I have a friend that I met through uh, the Collectathon streams. Um, Crafty is in here, and then just a bunch of commentators from the Cloud Palace. I've actually been able to see the finished one. Well, you can get it on stream. I have it set up. You can just hop in. The amount of time that I used to be a stan of this channel is insane. I remember one day I tried to make a board game about the class after the doodle stream. Mm. Cabbage has access to the to these stream calls. If he wanted to, he can join them. <laughs> Anyone who is in my chat can join them. I have made them smalls. But we're never well, we're not gonna see too many of them. Like we've seen Yoons, we've seen TPs, we've seen Obbies. Uh we've seen Sarah's a few times. Crafty and Scarlet have both been on. Probably the worst child who is a fan of your work. No. No, 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 no. You are not the worst. Friendly reminder, Dan Stein called me his waifu. Unironically. No, 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 you're fine. You still call Cabbage Big Mac? No, he hasn't been Big Mac in years. You have one for Caden too? No, Caden's not in my chat. I will eventually make one for Caden. When I, whenever I stream in the Cloud Palace, but I have not worked on the Cloud Palace smalls yet. <laughs> I have been busy with work. Um, once I'm not busy with work, I'll, you know, start working on the Cloud Palace smalls, but... Um, for now. For now. Uh, what I got is what I got. Which is just my, my chat. My cardboard box chat. What? Yeah, that was a thing. It was like a, a stream. I think it was from 2016. Um, there was this kid by the name of Dan Stein uh, who went on to be a commentator himself. Um, who constantly called me on Skype. This this was like Skype days. It constantly called me on Skype. Um, they were like. What, maybe 11, 12 at the time? Maybe 13? I'm not entirely sure. They were a kid, though. Um, but they called me, like, upwards to 12 to 20-something times a day. Um, and on one stream, I got so fucking tired of it, I decided to add Dan to the group call on stream to tell him off and basically say, Hey, not everyone wants to be dragged into these kind of calls. Uh, all the time, especially since 
you know, you're you're a kid, you're young. And he dead ass in retort um had said that like I was his waifu. And then after we were like, yo, YouTubers have lives, uh he was like, No, no they don't. My my mom told me. Uh we we had said no, they do. And then we kind of just explained it to him. And dead ass he tried calling his mom into the room with him. Like, he deadass tried to call his mom <laughs> into the room. It was very funny. And I think that's when I kicked him from the from the chat. Why do children know about waifus? I don't know. But that was, that was like... Yeah, that was a stream from, like, back in 2016. Like, you could probably still find it if you know where to look. But he hung up on him and blocked him. Yeah. No, I just, I wasn't dealing with that. He's a YouTuber now. Do you think he has a life now? I mean, he's been a YouTuber for a while. Um, as for whether or not he has a life, I don't know. I don't really keep up with him. Last I heard from him, he was like, trying to get involved in the, the Sonic Tuber stuff with, with Dylan Thomas or whatever. I, I, I didn't really keep track of him. I mean, again, he was, he was a kid. I don't, I don't care. I think kids need to be careful with what they do on the internet, but like, eh, I don't keep track of them. He runs in his circles, I run in mine. I like the new emotes. They're a little small, but like, I feel like they could be done a little bit better. They're a little busy, but I guess... Um, seeing them, like, mouse mousing over them with, um, like, FFZ, they look fine. It's just, there's... Relying on text with emotes is a little bit, um, hard to do. <laughs> I know it's practically impossible to enforce, but if I had it my way, children would not have access to the internet until, like, high school. I mean... Yeah, it would be impossible to enforce. I mean, I can't judge too harshly. I started doing, uh, internet stuff when I was, like, 13, but that also isn't a good thing. Uh, a lot of my life is out there. A lot of my life that probably shouldn't be out there is out there, so... Eh, whatever. The peaches emotes. Yep. It's gonna mix between vegan... Oh, Dan. I mean, I, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Fun fact, Roblox videos are for these kids, but Nickelodeon cartoons were for us. Eh, don't I know it? Still the most popular video on my channel is a Roblox video that has like over half a million views. <laughs> Fucking seven years ago, six... 176,000 views. Roblox Adventure Hobby. Oh, Christ. That'll never be dethroned. I honestly, I don't think I ever want it to be dethroned because it's very funny to sit there and go, yeah, I'm a commentator. My most popular video is a Roblox video. <laughs> Worked at a summer camp, one of the kids had to go to the nurse, was given a TV to watch, and what he wanted, he was watching Roblox, this child is seven. Fair enough. I'm a 
Let's Play are my most popular videos in my Chemical Romance lyric video. Yeah, it's, it's shit like that that's really funny. What was the best year and why? I don't know. I don't have too many, like, positive memories, Otto. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a very negative individual. I don't mean to be, but... Considering my upbringing, it, I don't really have a ton of positive memories to really, like, think back on. It means you stuck with one channel for so long that Brandon hopped and channel hopped twice so far. I mean... Have I really stuck with one channel when I have eight of them? That is, that is the question. What's the greatest commentary I've ever seen? I mean, Ponder Sprocket's video on the Spockter Theory situation is easily one of the most important videos that we have in our circle, but... <sighs> yeah, meanwhile... Yeah, Phineas, it's like, you're like, yes, 2020 was a pandemic, but I also started car college that year, net positive. Cool. Do you want to know what my 2020 was? Not only was it a pandemic, but I also had someone stalking all my YouTube channels and, and Twitch streams and stuff like that, doxing my information. I, like, net negative, I would say. <laughs> Best commentary is you laminated a paper towel. Oh, Key laminated a paper towel. That's a very good video. But yeah. Just an unnaturally positive person. Yeah, and again, that's that's a good thing. And I, as I said, I don't... I don't mean to be, like, super fucking negative. It's just, that's just kind of the environment that I've grown up in, and it sucks. Was that person a certain Pokemon? No, no, Sylveon was, was 2021. 2020 was Sherman. Twenty twenty one was when you officially started being friends with you in the SEC. That's fair. People ruined doodle tones. I mean, I definitely played a part in it. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I had no part in it. I did the Medicare video. I'm the one that did the jar video. I did the Mr. Enter video. I can't sit here and pretend like I didn't do that. I'm the one that dropped out of high school. <laughs> I'm the one that scribbled in my notebooks. I was the one that fell asleep in, in class all, uh, like all throughout second grade. So I can't say that, like, people ruined me. I can definitely say they contributed, though. You may have done that, but people still get on to you for it years later. Well, again, at the end of the day, it's, it's my fault, isn't it? I don't particularly like it, but... 
I don't, as I said, I truly don't have anyone to blame but me. <clears throat> Did I see Jar's new video? Um, probably not. Narcolepsy in particular is not your fault. Eh. Things that can get you cancelled tier list? No, I have not seen this. There's this fucker named that fucking hate doodle, you need to kick his ass. Isn't that your alt account? pronounced Donald. Point is, isn't that your alt account? So the weeaboo versus I fucking hate Donald, who's winning? I mean, I haven't really done anything with Cancer the Weave in a couple of years. I keep telling myself I should, then I never do. Hey, Monica. Moving into your first apartment in two days? Nice. It's gonna be mildly exciting having a space fully mine and a few friends. College dorms are tiny. Huh. Wouldn't know. <laughs> Never went into college either. I've only been going for 49 minutes and I already feel like I've been going for like an hour. Jesus. It's not the sign of a- that's really not the sign. You live in a cardboard box, don't you? Don't you do? I might as well. Homie, we can barely fucking afford food anymore. All with inflation and shit. Probably won't be long until I'm actually living in a cardboard box. <sighs> How much of a difference is 10 minutes? Uh, I don't know. I'm just kinda... It's not a, not a good sign when, when the stream feels longer than it is. That's kind of a... Kind of a bad sign. Am I okay? Well, the short answer is no. But... The long answer... I'm not turning this into another therapy session. <laughs> so don't worry about it.
Uh, uh, Nausea is back. Back swinging. Thought it was fucking over by now. But thought it decided this would be a multi week long boss battle. Jesus. Hopefully, like. Hopefully, you can get some. some rest, you know? Hopefully, like, you can beat whatever this. whatever virus you're kind of battling right now. get an appointment soon. Needs to be over fast. I need to practice driving. That's fair and valid. Hopefully all it goes well. Hopefully they can tell you what's up. You been fighting a week long boss fight? Boss is COVID? Yeah, COVID's not fun. Alright, later comic fan. God, the week that I had COVID was a fucking terrible week. <sighs> yeah, COVID. I mean, yeah. I want to say it was earlier this month, late last month, something like that. Panicking over COVID, my dad has and he's been pretty careless about it. Oh, jeez. So you actually had COVID? Well, I mean, there's literally, I don't have any reason to believe it wasn't. It was like a really, really fucking bad cough. I had trouble breathing. Uh, I had like body aches every morning. There was literally a point in time where I passed out in the bathroom washing my hands. Like, if that's not COVID, I don't know what the fuck it was, and I still, I, I fear ever catching it again. If that's not COVID, I don't know fucking what it was, but it, ugh. And that's the seasonal allergies on top of COVID. Yeah. No, directly after I, I recover from from whatever that was, I'm just going to keep calling it COVID because I'm fairly convinced it was. But after recovering from it, it was immediately allergy season. And I'm like, God fucking damn it. It's the worst. I like the lo-fi. It's just lo-fi hip-hop radio beats to relax and study to. Get vaxxed as soon as you can. I mean, I've had I've had my vaccinations. I've had three shots. The the vaccinations that I need to get now are hepatitis A, HPV, and the flu shot. But yeah, I passed out this one time. You know, my entire body, uh, why, like I was I was in the bathroom, I was just washing my hands, getting done. You know what you do in there. And my entire body just stopped working. Like, m like my vision went white. I collapsed onto the floor, and I could not get up until someone came to help me. Um, 
like my hearing was going out too. Like I, it, I was just hearing like a, a, a ringing in my ear. It was just not fun. Like it genuinely felt like I was dying. It just it, it was the scariest fucking moment that week. Circle, circle, dot, dot. I have my cootie shot. <laughs> oh, I remember that. That's fucking old, old school, Dr. R. I, I recognize that. I remember the fucking Lego animation. Isn't it really scary? I mean, yeah, as I said, it was the scariest fucking moment that week. And that was like, as I said, late April, early May. I talked about it pretty frequently on Twitter. trying to see yeah it was late april there you go from april um probably 22nd to the 27th that was like a whole week ish <clears throat> feels so weird that it's been two years since we've been in the pandemic. Yeah, and the fact that it's still kinda going is also just kinda fucking weird to think about. Like, obviously it's not nearly as big as it used to be, and that's cool, that's good, I'm glad, but like, we're still not out of it. We're not gonna be out of it for a very, very long time. Yeah, there are people that are, there are, there are, like, babies that have been born in this fucking pandemic. Like, Christ. See them in 20 years talking about how they grew up in a fucking pandemic. Like, God. Jesus. kids are gonna be fucked up. Like, we think, we think Gen Z is, is, is kind of, like, fucked in the head, or, like, Gen Alpha. Nah, man. The, the fucking COVID generation. Those are the ones that we're gonna, we're gonna have to worry about. <clears throat> Stocks and social skills are going down, yeah. Christ. Like, I hated doing online school in 2015. Well, 2015, 2014, and 2013, if you want to split hairs. Um, but I, I hated doing fucking online school then. And I didn't even have to, I just chose to. I couldn't imagine how terrible it is for them. 
Like, good fucking god. The people who had, like, the people who graduated in the past two years, I feel so bad for them, man. Someone who works with kids is so noticeable. Yeah, I, I imagine. Like, I felt, I feel so bad for the kids that, that grew up in the, like, or who were just graduating the past two years. Kids are going back to school now? I mean, yeah, but still. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just depressing. Weird, never getting closure with 98% of your year. Yeah, I'd imagine. I just, uh, I couldn't imagine. Like, again, mind you, I didn't even, I didn't even graduate it. I, I dropped out, but like, I couldn't imagine how fucking, ter like, how weird that must feel. That you didn't, like, like, you graduated, but y you didn't have, like, the graduation ceremony that, like, everyone expects to have. I can't fucking imagine. It's, it's gotta be it's so fucking weird. Christ. Ever got to give the foul, foul parting? <laughs> yeah. Eh. I don't know. It's just. It's been a. It's been a bit. It's been a weird, um, uh, give me a sec. It's been a weird 730 days. I mean, it's probably more than that, because we started, like, lockdowns in, like, March. But I'm not about to sit there and do all the fucking math there. It's been how long? Roughly 730 days. Give or take. I think I told you, but the bullying transcended past the, past the YouTube videos. Yeah, I remember the fucking Instagram account. But yeah, I'm not about to sit here and, and do the math for how just how long. But it's roughly 730 days, give or take. Like. That is 700 too long, yeah. And to think we're still not out of it. Fully, at least. We're getting there, but we're not there. All right, later, Rimbo. <sighs> God, I'm tired. Eight hundred and two, okay. 802 days. It has been a rough 802 days. <laughs> Christ. Do you think anyone's actually, like, counting? Do you think anyone has actually started, like, a counter for how many days that we've been dealing with COVID? How long we've had to, like, stay... Stay to ourselves. Do you think there's a counter for that? <laughs> Well, you just, you just now did the math. But do you think anyone, like, is actually out there counting how many days it's been? After these two years, comfortably numb by Pink Floyd is becoming my life's theme song. Fair enough. Hey, Dragonite. <sighs> it's 
someone definitely is. Yeah, it's... I'd be surprised if someone hasn't made a Twitter accounting those days. Jesus, yeah, that's, that's true. Like a Twitter bot or some shit. Or just uh, every day is, is like a new, new thing with, with COVID. I just want the world to slow down for like five minutes. I think that would be that'd be nice. It's just time to breathe, man. That's why I've been enjoying these streams. These streams have been like a good place to just kind of vibe and chill out and breathe. Cause Lord, do I need a breather? I feel like the theme of this pandemic is we didn't stop the virus by Chris Reagan. Oh, that's a very good one. I really liked that parody. Very good. <sighs> Doesn't help that everyone in power is going full villain mode this decade. Eh, no kidding. I just, I'm just tired, man. I mean, if my avatar doesn't look it, I certainly do. Trust me, like, you can see bags have been forming under my eyes. My hair in places has been turning gray. I am very disheveled. And it shows. <laughs> The piece of media in this whole pandemic is Bo Burnham's inside. I still need to watch that. But yeah. I am... I am noticeably tired. If you saw me walking down the street, you'd be going, Hey, you need sleep. <laughs> uh, you need a break. Yeah, and that's only in two years, Murdoch. Imagine that. Head candidate doodle periodically goes to update her VTuber and develop the bag under her thighs and more so. I can't. Uh, I, I only had live 2D for February of last year, and that was about it. Uh, I learned how to rig this thing up, and this is about as much as I can do. But... Now, I'm talking, like, past the VTuber model. I look tired. I look exhausted, and you know what? That's accurate. Hey, Risen. It's like, I haven't... Like, for instance, I haven't had, like, a haircut in 10 years, so my hair is, like, very fucking damaged, very frizzy. It's actually kind of why, like, like, the, the hair on my VTuber kind of, like, you know, you have, like, little, little, uh, bits. You can't really see on this side too much, but yeah, there's, there's one there, too. Like, the reason that, that the hair is, like, as, as messy as it is. It's just because that's kind of what it's like, IRL. I'm very just tired. <laughs> my my eyes have like a permanent like shadow to it. I'm just kind of sitting there. I, I look like I need coffee. Which, I mean, I'm a caffeine addict, so I guess it makes sense. But I typically have mine in the form of soda. You look mildly tired, IRL, but if someone ever talks to me, they'll find that. But no, he still talks to him for a minute. I mean, I can talk a lot, too. But, I mean, I, I've been doing that for roughly an hour and ten minutes, eleven minutes-ish. Um, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm still an incredibly tired individual. I'm, I'm a very tired, very tired woman. I just, I just need a break. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. It's my estimated words per minute when I read scripts. I calculated it. Fair enough. 
I, ho I won't go into what I believe politically. What I will say is that I hope the gigantic fucking divide in this country starts in this next administration. Yeah. Well, keep hoping, because that's not going to happen. For 43.8k channel points and nothing to use them on. Yeah, well, I don't really have anything to use them on. Not like I, I can use the, what was it, t Twitch integrated throwing system. I don't use my VTuber at all times. Um, I don't really, I can't really give anything else. Like, what was it, game, uh, what was it, the game requests that I had set up? Can't do those, I'm too poor. More so now that inflation's happening, but let's not worry too much about that. Um, can't really, I don't really feel like doing speedruns at all times, my mental state is atrocious. Um, so I can't just do random speedruns, especially when, like, you guys might request something like BFBB or I had time, things that I'm not too fucking familiar with. I only did like one or two runs of. Um, what was the other one? Drawing requests? I can't really do drawing streams anymore when my tablet's doing my tablet things. So, I don't really have anything to set up channel points on, so you guys are just gonna have them. Like, they're just gonna be piling up. At least I can, until I can figure out what the fuck to do. Might start speedrunning Le Legends of Runeterra PvE mode. That's fair. Yeah, I can only speedrun certain things right now. And even then, I can't speedrun for very long. I feel like I'm gonna crack at any moment doing those speedruns. Space out there a bit. Could always do like watch my video request or text to speech. Text to speech, I would not want to do. Uh, I know specifically, like when it comes to speedrunners and stuff like that. If if people if like randos find out you have text to speech. Um, you know, you, you're gonna get a lot of N-words, like, just spammed in your fucking messages, it's not good. Um. Video requests I'm a little bit iffy on, because I'm not sure what's okay and what's not. Changing the background, no, because then I have to, like, have something to change the background to, and I, no. People will weaponize the shit out of TTS, exactly. I don't want just some rant. Especially with me, are you kidding? Oh my god, if people who don't like me find out that I'd have, like, text-to-speech, that's it. Like, I'm gonna come, like, they're gonna come in and do all sorts of shit that's gonna get me banned, and I'm like, no. No, that wouldn't be fair, and I don't, I definitely don't want that, because Twitch is, like, my main source of income right now. Oh yeah, you're you, exactly. People fucking hate me. Rightfully so, you know. But... Yeah, people really don't like me. People have never liked me. So... And Twitch is my main source of income, because Lord knows YouTube isn't paying me. And, uh, ever since, like, Patreon had supported Crypto Bros, a bunch of people hopped shit from there, which, that certainly didn't help my income. Uh. Christ. I'm not okay. <laughs> I need 
need to get myself like a more conventional job. Like, I don't know what else. Well, I don't know what I can do. TBH. Anyway, later, psychotic. YouTube sucks. YouTube does suck. In fairness, so does Twitch to an extent. To an extent. A lesser extent than YouTube. YouTube just actively goes against its, its, um, its, its YouTubers, like its content creators. around 8.30, how much time you got? I'm probably gonna head off soon, really, because I'm just kind of spacing out right now. This was kind of not the vibe stream that I was hoping it was going to be. I just kind of, like, ran around being depressed for, like, maybe a third of this stream. So... Nah, no, you're fine, Phineas. It's not your fault. As I said, I'm a negative person. I don't mean to be, but I just kinda am. It's just kind of the environment that I've grown up in. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. Um, we'll do, um... Balan Wonderworld tomorrow morning. Um, uh, I'll see you guys then. If not, uh, if you guys prefer these later streams, I'll see you then too. Anyway, later guys.